Alley Woman also appears to be a surprise victor in a state Senate race. Democrat Melissa Hurtado pulled ahead of Republican incumbent Andy Vidak. KC24's Dennis Valera spoke with a political analyst who says this is evidence of a bigger trend of energized voters. Neither Vidak or Hurtado were available to meet today. I was referred to Vidak's political consultant who hasn't returned my calls and I was told Hurtado was feeling under the weather. Now the unexpected results being credited to excited higher turnout at the polls. <laughs> Andy Vidak giving out some hugs last night as the results rolled in. The five-year Republican politician currently trailing newcomer Melissa Hurtado, a Sanger City Council member who has 52% of the vote right now. Hurtado issued a statement today saying in part, I want to thank all of the volunteers who came out and walked precincts or phoned for me and the voters who put their trust in me. Political analyst Jim Veros says this race is a case of candidates getting too comfortable. If you think you're in the lead, you got to keep accelerating. You can never take your foot off the gas. You have to run through the finish line, as they would say. And I don't think a lot of the folks in the Valley did that. Today is more than about Democrats and Republicans. Vero says momentum for female candidates has been building for some time now, and future candidates already planning to take full advantage. Listen, people are going to be going to Iowa and New Hampshire real, real soon. The 2020 presidential election has started today. Dennis Valera, KC24, Local News That Matters.